Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming Lilith's one year update and she is currently 15 months old so I'm very behind on it but as she was approaching the one year mark or she was just past I remember putting down in my notes everything that I wanted to keep a track of and so I'm just going to read from my phone what I what I remembered to write down um, all their months ago. But yeah, it feels like such a long time since I've like sat down and filmed a video and I feel like this is gonna go really bad because she's touching everything. Absolutely everything. So the focus is gonna be completely off. No thank you, no thanks. Oh, has Peppy stopped again? So like I said, I've got everything written down on my phone. It's all ready to go here. So I'm just gonna read it from my phone and try and remember as much of it as possible and I've also put it on silent now as well so so at a year old Lilith was sitting unaided I remember when she first started sitting on her own it was like it, it was just amazing it felt like she was becoming more independent and less reliant on mummy which was also really sad also at a year old she was pulling herself up now as you've probably seen she is a walking baby um, so her pulling herself up feels like a million years ago but I really know that it wasn't too long ago that she couldn't even walk on her own and that just like cruising around the sofas and the furniture was the only thing she could do. She could also say mama and dada and nana, um, her three favourite things but now at 15 months she doesn't want to say dada at all, she says nana all the time so yeah. We are a speaking baby, we're getting there with speaking. At a year old, at 12 months, she only had four teeth, which again, it seems like such a long time ago and I, I can't actually remember her with only four teeth. But I'm sure I've got a picture somewhere, it did happen and now she's got loads of them and she loves, loves, loves chomping down on things. She will find anything and she'll just bite it. She is also crawling. She for a long time could only like shuffle on her belly um, but she did manage to master crawling in the end. She was on her hands and her knees crawling and she used to crawl from the front room to the kitchen like so so quick and she'd even start crawling out of the back door into the garden which was always so funny to watch because it would literally look like a wild animal was let loose in the garden because <laughs> I don't cut my grass very often at all so there was just her crawling around in the long grass looking like a complete wild animal like like a tiger or something. She also drinks from sippy cups. From just before a year I have tried introducing different cups um, so she's not too reliant on like bottle teats as they can really damage a baby's mouth so we did try and move her onto sippy cups in particular the munchkin 360 cups um, as early as possible to ensure that she knew how to drink a drink um, without relying on the bottle teat. I just didn't want her teeth to be like all deformed because she was so reliant on bottle teats. Her favourite foods at a year old are what's it, Maltesers, um, Maltesers, that's probably not one I should be bragging about on the internet but she did manage to get into one of my packs of Maltesers, like my big share bags and all of a sudden there was Maltesers all around my floor, all in her toy box and for days afterwards I was just finding Maltesers in places that she'd obviously hidden them. They were like in her chair, they were, <laughs> I think there was a couple in the push chair as well. But yeah, when I come down stairs from quickly popping to the toilet, Dan was downstairs as well but Dan was doing other things. Um, she had like a big chocolate mouth and yeah, I have Maltesers just sprawled all over my front room floor. Uh, she also likes Milky Bar as well, chocolate again. Something I probably shouldn't be bragging about on YouTube, but all kids have a sweet tooth, I'm sure. So she also likes Milky Bar chocolate as well. She really quite likes an ice pop. Um, I try and make as many natural ones um, or ones that just made out of like squash. So they're not so sugary. They're watered down as well. She also likes apples, crumpets with butter in the morning as well. She always has about half a crumpet, that's as much as she can stomach in the morning. And she also likes Yorkshire puddings. From as long as I can remember since we started re weaning her, um, I was always led to believe that she could have meats and stuff through like baby led weaning. So she's always had 
the option of a roast dinner from Weening and she just absolutely loves a roast dinner it's still her favorite dinner to today she just loves a Yorkshire pudding I think it's probably the texture of a Yorkshire pudding and how easy it is to eat they are one of her favorite th favorite foods though Lilith also was sleeping from 9 till 10 anywhere between 9 and 10 p.m. at night through to 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning which I was really happy about obviously because for a child that's just like an amazing amount of sleep. I have been so lucky with her being my first and I'm sure that if I had another one it'd be the complete opposite but yeah she's a really good sleeper she was having two naps a day um, and I believe they were from around um, half 10 11 uh, she'd go down for a nap for an hour hour and a half and then again at three o'clock um, anywhere between three and four she'd go down for another hour then in the evening and then after that final nap that second nap in the day would be when we start our evening routine full of dinner and baths and everything else that happens in the evening the year old she also has um hair we are slowly beginning to get rid of that newborn bit of hair um she's had it for the longest time ever it was the darkest piece of hair but there is more hair on her head now finally she actually has more hair than dan but um I can't tell him that because that makes him sad but yeah we've got plenty of hair coming it's really fair really blonde and um, when she's in like the direct sunlight the hair literally just looks white the hair the like sun beams off her head so we always have to make sure she has plenty of sun cream on her head so she doesn't get burnt but yeah that's everything for Lilith's one year update it was a qu pretty quick video I hope um, but yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I'll probably be back in like three months um, to do her 18 month update, um, which is obviously then going to be filled with lots of things as well because she is growing really quickly and learning new things all the time. Um, but yeah, I really hope to see you all in my next video. Bye!